Main operational features of Waldorf's compact desktop synthesizer, Blofeld. Despite its size and price, Blofeld has an extremely powerful engine. With virtual analog technology from the classic Q-Synth and wavetable synthesis from the microwave. These allow it to produce a wide variety of sounds, from the signature edgy bell-like timbres to dirtier, more distorted basses. Blofeld is mains powered, so to get started you need to connect the included power supply unit to the rear panel. Then you can connect to your speakers, an amp or your computer's audio input from the two unbalanced jack connectors. To play the synth, you'll need to either connect a MIDI cable from your controller keyboard to the MIDI in, or connect to your computer using a USB cable. The USB interfacing not only allows MIDI transfer, but also means you can dump sounds to your computer, as well as update Blofeld's operating system. Once connected over USB, Blofeld will appear in the DAW as a MIDI device, and can be selected as an output source on a MIDI track for triggering sounds. The front panel features a king-size paperwhite graphic LCD, with a stainless steel rotary knob for selecting sounds or scrolling through the parameter menus. Blofeld comes with over a thousand sounds on board, so there's plenty to choose from. This dial is used to select a bank from A to H, and then this one scrolls through the sounds in that bank. To make sound selection even easier, the right-hand display parameter dial can choose a category. So if you need to find a suitable base for your track, then you can choose Base, and then rotate the selection dial. If the LCD has switched to a parameter edit screen, then the play button here will return to sound selection mode. The right side of the front panel houses the parameter matrix. This allows editing of the most common synth parameters by selecting a synth section using the switches and then rotating the dials below. For example, to adjust the cutoff of filter 1, Press the switch in the filter section so that 1 is illuminated, and then rotate the dial below cutoff. Or, to turn the arpeggiator on, press the lowest switch, and then rotate the dial below mode, until it shows on in the corner of the LCD. The dial below clock can now be used to change the timing of the arpeggiator. If you need to view any of the parameters in the matrix quickly, without editing them, then you can press and hold one of the switches on the left. For example, to view the main settings of both LFOs, first select LFO, then press and hold the switch, after which the shape and speed of both LFOs will temporarily appear on the screen. To edit synth parameters not included in the parameter matrix, you can use the main selection and display parameter dials as follows. First, go to the section you want in the parameter matrix, for example the oscillator section, let's say oscillator 1. This section will then come up on the LCD screen, providing auto edit has not been turned off in the global menu. Now, the main selection dial will scroll through all of the oscillator 1 parameters. So the FM settings can be edited for example. If a sound has been edited and you are thinking about replacing the original onboard sound with the edited version, you can use the utility menu to store it. Before storing, you may want to compare the sound with the original to make sure you prefer the new version. This facility is also in the utility menu. To do this, press and hold the switch labelled Shift on the front panel, then press the switch labelled Utility. Then rotate the main selection dial until Compare Sound is displayed at the top left of the LCD. Then press Shift and Utility again to return temporarily to the original sound. To go back to your sound, press Shift and Utility to go back to the Compare Sound option page, and then once again to revert. If you are happy and want to save it, then press Shift and Utility, then scroll to the Store Sound pages where you can first edit the name using the position and character dials. Then on screen 2, edit the category. Then on screen 3, edit the bank and preset number. Then press Shift and Utility once more to store it. 
The global menu can be accessed in the same way as the utility menu, using the switches on the front panel, only now by pressing and holding shift, followed by the switch next to global. Once inside the global menu, the main selection dial can be used to scroll through all menu options, the most common ones being transpose, MIDI channel, where Omni means that Blofeld sends data on channel 1 and receives on all channels, velocity curve, and clock, which should be set to auto if wanting to synchronize with your track via the standard MIDI port or USB. Lastly, Blofeld is 16-part multi-timbral, so you can play a number of sounds simultaneously if you want. Once you've finished working with one sound, you can switch to multi-mode by pressing and holding shift and then the switch labelled sound slash multi. You will see part one appear in the top left of the screen. Now you can press and hold the play button and rotate the main selection dial to switch to another part. Then rotate the selection dial normally to select a sound for that part, as well as edit the sound in the normal way. These sounds respond to the same MIDI channel as their part number, so if triggering from your DAW, then part 1 is accessed on channel 1, part 2 on channel 2, and so on. I hope you found this tutorial useful, and can now start to have some fun with Blofeld.